why I did that. Today, we're going to be making three pound or three uh, gallons of chocolate mead. So what we're going to do here is we're going to fill a carboy. Here's some of the stuff we're going to need. I already got the water measured out here for what I'm going to need to uh, the bag will absorb some. We got some pH balancer, malic acid. You got some Fermate K. We're going to be running uh, MSO5 uh, mangrove jacks yeast. A pH uh, checker to check the pH. We want it down to about 3.5. Some metal bisulfate, a quarter tablespoon or less to get rid of the chloramides. We're going to boil the water to get rid of chlorine and let it sit to take it down to steeping level, uh, 154 degrees. And we're going to use um, some chocolate malt, about a pound. This is going to be our base, maybe a pound and a half. We'll crush it, we'll see. We have a, a gauge to check the temperature, spoons to do the measurement, muslin bag to put the grains in, refractometer to get the readings to see what we're going to come out to be, a bubbler, a stopper for the carboy, star sand, which is one of the best products out there to uh, make sure everything's sanitized. We'll go through and we'll sanitize uh, this here, this is just the water we're going to dump into the kettle and get boiling and get ready for the uh, the, uh, <laughs> the chemicals, get the pH level down there and get ready to steep the grain. There's the chocolate grain. The honey we're using today is going to be orange blossom honey. But for now, let's get going. i got to grind the grains. Those grains got to be ground through, through a mill. Uh, a funnel is a good thing to have to, uh, to do your... Uh, and pouring into your carboy there. It's got a, uh, a screen in there and everything. Boy, I'm stumbling today. So anyway, let's get on with it. I think I mentioned all the products I'm using today. We're going to get some water boiling and I'll get the grains ground and uh, not long before it gets into the carboy and she'll be gurgling away. So let's get on with this uh, this brew. So what we have is one pound of uh, chocolate malt. Seems like Excuse me. Seems like a lot. We'll get that ground up here if I don't spill it. what she looks like all ground up. You get that in her muslin bag. It smells like coffee, but it's not. All right, our water is down to 155. That's our perfect steeping temperature for our chocolate malt. So we're going to get that into the kettle. And you'll see that. We'll just work it around a little bit. You'll see the water turn chocolatey. <laughs> oh, I went on it. <laughs> so we're going to let that steep for, oh shoot, a good 40 minutes or so. So let's get that in there. And I'll put the cover on it. And we'll let it set. And next step is putting the honey. I'll lay the honey out of the, the big jug here. I got that sitting in some hot water. She's a little crystallized, but that's nice orange blossom honey, man. We love it. So we'll weigh out about 9 pounds on the scale. And uh, that'll be our uh, thing. Now we'll be pitching the yeast. We'll show that process shortly. Now we attempt to get the uh, nine pounds of uh, honey that we need out of here. And being that she's uh, <laughs> she's uh, oh boy, we're gonna need a lot. She's crystallizing in here. It may actually be easier to scoop it out without making a mess. Not necessarily, look how slow that is. That's one pound, holy cow, I'm going to be here a while. <clears throat> I 
there's two pounds. It's probably better that it is crystallized, it's coming out easier. There's three pounds. Three pounds, four ounces. She's coming out chunky. <laughs> There's four pounds. Four pounds, twelve ounces. There's five pounds, two ounces, as I keep going here. And here's six pounds, eight ounces. We're going to have to stop here and empty this. Six pounds, seven ounces. Thirteen ounces. All right, there's seven pounds right there. Let's hold it at that. We'll dump this first. gonna be easy. Mrs. Vineyard, not gonna be easy to dump this. Dump it first, see what comes out. I said this was seven pounds already. All I need is two more two more pounds. She's falling out of there and going in, so I need to scrape it with my scraper here. <clears throat> of course, I wanted to sanitize my scraper first. Oh, am I falling behind the time? <clears throat> I like to sanitize everything. <clears throat> Hard to do it by yourself here, but I'm working at it. There, seven pounds are in, so I need two more pounds. Oh, that is delicious, honey. Keep it off the ground a little. So that tells me I should have siphoned this. <laughs> Look at that amount. <laughs> Just what we were looking for. It's already aerated. So there you go. I took the chocolate bag out of the boil. We steeped it at 155. We put in nine pounds of honey. And we threw it in the uh, in the carboy here. 
so we're ready to rock. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to wait a couple more minutes for that to cool down just a little bit more. The gauge said it was at 84. So we're going to give it a few more minutes. She came in at 1.115. That's going to make a nice mead. 1.115. Nice. Chocolate mead. It's the first one I've done. And like I said, the, the yeast today is going to be Mangrove Jack mead yeast. I've used this many times. And I do a direct pitch with a little Fermate K. So, that'll be going in shortly. Just cool down a little bit more. So in goes the uh, dry MSO5 yeast. Get that in there. And then we're going to hit it with some uh, Fermade K, like I said, Fermade K. Yeah, it's for me, okay? My understanding is there should never be a test. So. Test it and test. Trying to dump it direct here. Oh, I always spill this stuff. I don't know why. I look for a spoonful in here. And that's plenty. And we're going to give it a little shake here. So I like to mix it up a little bit. That gives it a little bit more oxygen anyway. Not that good on the back, but she's in there. And she's mixed up. And she's done. Well, not done. Try eight, nine months from now, she'll be done. There's the chocolate mead here starting to bubble after uh, oh, just about 24 hours from uh, going into the carboy here. Hard to see. It's got a little froth coming up on top like a, oh, like a Krausen ring in beer. If you look close, you can see some of the bubbles down there going like crazy. This is just a one day in, so... That's what she looks like. She's going to be a good one, I hope. We hope. Boy, my lighting is really terrible. Well, you can smell the CO2 coming off of here like crazy. Like crazy. 